What is up guys, Floodmon14, and to start this little recording session, we got a little turn count against uh, Rex here. I think I've got uh, two mid and the other ones here on board, so, you know, we're always trying to rank up, so, but yeah, this is what I had on the board here. Yeah, Cybersaurus, Sea King, uh, one Kyrician, and yeah, two main of Yakma, so let's see what's gonna happen here. We might get a rank up, we might not. Uh, Alright, definitely excited to be uh, playing some more of this, especially after the, the, the really good success of last recording session. Uh, no rank up, but that's okay. Definitely got the experience points. Uh, I guess we're waiting for Breath of Light here. There are two Trachodons, so maybe I should go for three in a row. Okay. Ooh, got it. Okay. Let's see if we can do this, guys. Oh, man. Oh, I thought that was actually Trachodon, but nope, it was Brachio Radius. Yeah, they both got the same orange in the background, so... I think I was aiming for the wrong card the whole time. Well, no, Trachodon was one above that, huh? So close, so close, but it's okay. All right, guys, so I think now, yeah, I almost feel like it's so crazy. Uh, let's just face a darkness roller here, no particular reason. Yeah, I almost feel like we're playing like, um, yeah, yeah, especially now that we've unlocked two more opponents. It almost feels like I'm playing like a regular game of Duelist of the Roses, which is good, honestly, because, yeah, yeah, it definitely feels good now that we can face like a handful of opponents. And normally I do, uh, when I'm playing this by myself or whatever, Normally I do have to do, you know, quite a bit of grinding uh, before I face Pegasus, or before I'm comfortable facing Pegasus. You know, I guess you can face him whenever you want, but, uh, yeah, yeah, he is, trust me, you guys will see, like, he, even with all the duels we've done so far, uh, he might take us. Um, let's see if this is a trap card right here. Okay, yeah, it is. Cool. Yeah, and so if you didn't know in this game too, your uh, spell cards, spells and traps, can also activate their spells and traps. You know, because of its limited range, it's going to be set off by the first thing that moves in the area regardless. So, just keep that in mind. Um, I think we'll just end the turn here. And, okay, well we know that's a monster because he powered it up, so... And he didn't attack the limiter removal. That's that's odd for sure. Um, what am I gonna do this turn? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna create some waves. So let's activate Kyrushin right here. Now he did power that card up, and so I'm not too comfortable just rushing in here. But uh, we'll, we'll see what it is in due time. We'll end the turn. Now free, so well we know that's another monster because he used another power. So okay, okay, all right, okay. And I know he powered this one up right here, but um, yeah. Now that he's out of range of his deck leader for the same type friendlies, you know, now I am comfortable attacking it. So let's see. Okay. Let's do it, Kyrie. Let's see what we're working with here. Lord of Zamaya. Okay. That's what he started with first a uh, couple duels ago as well, so definitely glad I waited. See, if I had attacked him, you know, right away when he was in range, you know, he would have actually tied with Kairushin and we would have knocked each other out. But this way, we're able to make some waves and defeat him. I remember this thing used a pretty cool attack to a couple of episodes back. That's pretty cool. Alright. Good job, Kai Ryushin. Alright. And they may even help Kai Ryushin get a rank up. You know, the more monsters you beat, the higher the experience you get. Uh, let's see. Um, let's just set Aqua Chorus right here. And I think we'll call it good. Your turn. Alright, he's moving closer to us. Okay. That could be a trap behind him, but, you know. Let's see. White Dolphin. Oh, we can actually fuse into Kairushin. 
Let's do it. Fusion. Alright. Now, I think I'll move this one right here. Uh, you know, I could attack him, but I don't want this trap to basically waste uh, Kairushin's effect. So I'm going to move here, and hopefully he'll attack into us. Um, and then I'll move here, and should I power him up? Why not? Why not? Yeah, that way it kind of counterbalances his uh, Death Leader ability. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's end the turn. Doesn't look like he'll be attacking us this turn. That's okay. Okay. All right. And now he moved that card behind him. So now I'll probably. Oh, nice draw. Nice draw. Okay. I think I'll flip this Kyrushin right. Hmm. Let's flip it right here. Yeah, that should be safe. Turn the tide. We're just increasing our water territory here. Uh, still a period of a trap, honestly. Um, but let's let's do this. Let's move. Well, I have another Kairushi in hand, um, as well as Akihiro. Hmm. Let's move this one. Summon, let's move across. Basically, we're going to try to get him to run over whatever cards behind him. And we'll move this Kairushin here. Okay, your turn. Is he going to run over it? I hope so. Yes, okay, good. That's ultimately what we wanted to happen. Uh, fusing, so that's either Ryukushin powered or Summon Skull. Defense mode, okay. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. Um, let's see what it was. He fused for... Looks like Ryukushin power, yeah, so... Okay, and now that there's only two cards back here, I'm not nearly as afraid to attack, so... Let's we drew here. Good, good, we know the other Uh, well, we know this is a monster, so let's just, you know, turn the tide, create some more water. And I'm gonna, yeah. Take a little drink break. Alright, it is Ryukushin Powered. One of Kaiba's signature monsters from Battle City. Alright, and we'll move the other ones in. Let's see. Um, you attempt to direct attack. Oh, a trap, yeah. Infinite Dismissal. Honestly, out of all his traps, that one's not so bad. That one's not so bad. All it does is spell bind you for three turns. It doesn't lower your power or anything. Um, one thing we can do... Oh, I don't have the stars for it. Okay. What I was gonna say is... If I had the stars for it, I could actually summon Akihiron right here and run it over this Kairushin, which would let him fuse into uh, Aqua Dragon. Um, but we don't have the stars. Maybe I should save the stars for next turn, yeah. So I'll move that Kairushin there so he can't summon there. And we'll call it good. Okay. Um, one card he has used. Definitely want to try to get Job Change Mirror. Uh, this card's pretty interesting, though. Yeah, whenever it's in defense, all damage to life points is increased by 100. That, I think that includes battle damage and effect damage, so... Pretty interesting card, yeah. Alright, let's end the turn. He's backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. He's almost out of the range of the water, though, so we do have to watch out for that. Um, so... What we want to do here is set off this card first if it's a trap, so let's attack with the weak Kairushin. It is a magic card. What was it? 
Gorgon's Eye, yeah. Yeah, wow, I'm glad we got to, uh, well, we didn't actually get to see him use this card, but this is one of his best cards. Check this out. I think they got a three in a row for this, but I'll go over it anyway. Yeah, permanent trap that triggers when an enemy moves, completes its move in the defense position, automatically cancels, and eternally spellbinds it. Yeah, that's pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, so let's do this. Um, I know he powered this card up, but I'm not too afraid, so let's move here, and let's, uh, fuse with Akihiron, like I was talking about. Okay, fusion hop. And then we will defeat, we'll attack his deck leader, okay. And I don't think he has enough uh, power to take us out in one hit. So, kind of risky for me to do this, but especially since I'm on a C-square, I'm really not afraid. So, let's end the turn, let's see what Panic does. Yes, I knew he was going to attack us. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, 1700. Yeah, because he powered that one up, you know, right after he powered up the... Uh, uh, his, uh, his other... Well, anyway, we win. So, because we had him boxed in, so... Not too bad, not too bad. What time is it, by the way? Okay. Alright, so we'll try for Job Change Mirror and that Midnight Fiend, I think. Also, good try for some of his traps. All of his spell and trap cards are pretty good, honestly. Um... Okay, we got job change. That's good. That's good. Helps us fuse for summon skull. Um, okay, that's a good. That's good for power ups. That works on all female monsters, by the way. I was trying for midnight feed there though. Um, oh, we got it. Nice job change here. My level one nuzzler, midnight feed. Nice, 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 nice. All pretty good cards, honestly. All pretty good. Alright, so I think now we might have a reincarnation? Let's see... Oh, no, we need one more duel for a reincarnation. Okay. So, and, uh, you guys know how I do reincarnations. It's okay to solve for set and try for a better card, so... Tell you what, let's just duel, uh, a Necromancer here. And then we will, uh, we'll end the episode here, and then at the start of next episode, we'll try a couple different reincarnations. How's that sound? Sound good? Sounds good to me too, guys. Sounds good to me too. Let's see. Let me move my fan a little bit to the side there. Oh, there we go. Now I can feel the air. Ooh, good hand, good hand. But to start, we want to actually get our turn. Okay. Power increase, yummy. He only used one power increase, like, it's funny, the, the last couple of duels, he's used like two in a row, as far as the power increases. Pretty, uh, lucky from him. Uh, this one is by the Crystal, so we know that's a zombie, so, definitely gotta watch out. And he's still in range of his, uh, his, uh, deck leader, so. Okay, yeah, and he is charging right at us, so. But he is in the sea, so let's see if we get, like, Akihiro or something. No, no, that's okay, um... Let's actually, and we have this boost from same type friendlies, uh, thanks to our uh, deck leader. Yeah, so let's actually attack in with Amoeba. I'm okay if it loses, because then these two squares will become C, as well as this one. So, uh, let's see if Amoeba can beat them. Amoeba attack. Wow. Oh, 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 I was about to say, I was about to say we actually beat it, but no. Yeah, what remains boosts itself. But it's kind of good we force that out early, because then this wood remains can't boost his other. And I'm sure he's running multiples, you know, because why else would you play this card? Alright, kill Amoeba, get him. Absorption attack. Whoa. <laughs> Man, if we, can, if we can rank up Amoeba even once in this LP, I'll be impressed, because it's normally a pretty weak monster, so... Uh, what you got? What it rains? Oh, it took him a little minute there. Super Sonic Attack, right? Yeah. No, Amoeba! It's okay. Your sacrifice is much appreciated, Amoeba, because you're going to give us more C-squares, and we only took like 300 for that, so I'd say it was worth it. Alright. Turn the tide. Yeah. Nice. Alright. I guess we will... Yeah, I could 
can move back one square, but yeah, let's move back a square in the turn. Go ahead, Bones. Okay. He's not powering anything up, which that's good. Okay, going straight for us. Let's see what we draw here. He's got, what, 2,000? Okay. Um, well, on the C, you would have how much? I think 2,100, uh, which is just enough. So, uh, I don't think... Does this guy play any ritual cards? I don't know, but uh, let's get rid of one dino and go with Maiden of the Aqua. There we go. And, yep, barely enough. So, let's attack. Next turn, we'll switch her to defense. Feel a lot safer with her uh, 3,400 defense points. But, uh, yeah, and ultimately, I don't... I almost never want my deck leader to be destroyed because... Yeah, you know, just like I've said before, if you, you know, you win a battle, you get experience points towards your deck leader. Yeah, if you lose too many battles or fuse too much with a card, you can also get Demo, which, that would suck, you know, because then we couldn't face uh, Necromancer or Panic anymore. So, yes, you can get Demoted in this game. You know, I imagine it takes a lot of experience points, just like it takes you a lot to get, you know, uh, promoted. I imagine it takes you a lot to get demoted as well, but yeah, we ultimately don't we don't want to take a step back, you know. Because in the ranking trial challenge, we only want to progress forward, obviously. <laughs> I like the little harp sound. Nice. Good job, Maiden of the Aqua. I, I don't know how she's playing that harp, though. This is with her psychic powers, but uh, we'll take it. Alright, so next turn we'll put her in defense. And we'll end the turn right here. What you got, Necromancer? Oh, now he's powering up. Oh, he's fusing. Oh, wait. Yeah, didn't he fuse for a scale gone last time? I think he did, yeah. Okay, well, he, he's moving in here. I mean, who knows? Maybe this card's weaker than Maiden of the Aqua? In fact, it probably is, you know, so... Okay, yeah, he did fuse for scale gone. Uh, let's just see what we draw here. Uh, well, I can make a metal monster. Um... Shall we? Let's make uh, this. Yeah. Middle Raymon. <laughs> it's so nice that we're able to use him again. Yeah, let's put him on the this. And um, I know what I said about her losing battles, but honestly, I don't think he can beat me. Um, yeah, the only thing he's used to power up on is Wood Remains, and we defeated it, so... You know what? Maybe the Aqua attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just... He, the only reason he's charging in is because he sees my deck leaders open. So he's trying to, you know, he's trying to get some direct attacks, which I can respect that. I can respect that, so. But uh, it's not going to work there, Bones. So we got to meet two monsters with her in this uh, in this pool. That's actually pretty good. A lot more than I normally get to. You know, something interesting I could do is uh, I think I might have a shield and sword card. And I could add it to this deck. Well, probably when we're not facing, you know, Necromancer, because his deck costs a solo. But I could actually add it to this deck, and that way, you know, you can have one maiden in defense to boost the other one. And the other one will have, like, 3,000 attack. <laughs> oh. Scale gun right there, and its stats are normally 1700. So, right here, it would be outside the deck leader range. So, Cypressaurus can still take them, but still take them. Now, I'm not bold enough to attack on the wasteland. You see, we would only have 700. That's no bueno. What I am willing to do, though, is to fuse Rock Ogre Grotto number one with Komori Dragon to form Stone B. Shadow Spectre, huh? Alright. Yeah, that I am willing to do. Alright, so let's watch the sand tsunami. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I remember this monster looked so funny in uh, Most of the Roses. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Safe with her here, 1700. We'll switch her to defense next turn. And then let's move here. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're out of his range, so we'll end the turn. What you get? Ooh, power increase. Hmm. Did I make an error? Oh, he's coming, he's coming out there. Good, good. Hmm. Okay, okay. So let's start by switching Maiden of the Aqua to defense, I think. Well, let's see what we draw first. Let's see what we draw first. Okay, ground attack and bugger up. So yeah, defense. And then, like I said, I'm pretty sure we can take this out. Yeah, it's skill gone, yeah. Because it's base stats at uh, 1700, so Cyber Stars for the win. Now, if he had kept it, you know, within his deck leader range, there's no way we could have taken this thing out. But do it, Metal Greymon. Shiny Nova attack. Cyber sauce. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And what power up did he use? Mm, Violet crystal. Mm. Well, we definitely have to watch out for this card. But you know what? I'm going in anyway with Stone D. You've got the advantage on Wasteland as well, so. Go ahead and go in. And I'll go in with my Wasteland Monsters. And then in the meantime, I'll play some other cards to try to draw my uh, uh, Aqua Monsters. And my Kaibushi. Yeah, take that, you little box. Looks like you're all boxed in. <laughs> that thing looks like, uh, actually looks like a, I don't know, a weird Yu-Gi-Oh combination of a Swiss Army knife. Although I guess the Swiss Army Knife card would be uh, Seven Tools of the Bandit, right? Which negates any trap. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure the picture of, on that card, Seven Tools of the Bandit, is literally just a, uh, yeah, yeah, like a, like a, uh, right, that does damage when it's destroyed. It's literally a Swiss Army Knife, you know, <laughs> dot PNG. Um, I guess we can set a trap. Sure, that's my control. And I'll have Infinite Dismissal protect Cybersaurus next turn, maybe. Shall we move up? Sure, we're, we're safe. His scale gone is gone. His scale is gone. Ah, ah, ah. See what I did there? Oh, attacking? I don't think so. Trap activated, fool. Mesmeric control, Simon the Juice. Yeah, we'll hypnotize your monster. What you got? What you got, buddy? Hmm, moving close to me, huh? Well, um. Basically lets us win. Power up Aqua Dragon. Nice draw. Heart of the cards. Um, you know what I am gonna do? I'm not sure if attacking this would let us win the duel. So I'm gonna attack with. No, I'll attack with the. Uh, who's got the higher rank? Um, oh, they both have the same rank. Okay, I'll attack with Stone Knee first. And I'll have... Oh, okay. It was safe. Okay. Played it a little safe there, but, you know. But, yeah, we'll have Stone D attack this. And then we'll have Aqua Dragon destroy the Clown Zombie to end the duel. Nice job. Stone D got a lot of kills in this one. But so did Maiden of the Aqua, which I'm very glad about. Sand Tsunami. Now, this card also, uh, this graveyard in the hand of, uh, yeah, this card right here that just went right around, right around. It has the same effect as, uh, you know, the blue-eyed silver zombie, which uh, can change all the types of the monsters on the field to a zombie, which, you know, if you have pumpkin in your deck, that means, like, you don't have to have necessarily, you know, strictly zombies in your deck, um, which, you know, you probably could probably have some, but then you can have, like, any card you want. Like, you could have Dark Magician turn that into a zombie. You could have, you know, blue eyes or red eyes, or, you know, you could even have Aqua Dragon turn into a zombie, which is probably a bad idea. A little bit of anti-synergy, because then it would lose its own boost from the, uh, from the, uh, the sea changing effect. But, um... You know, ultimately, if you need to move two squares, like let's say if you're facing Rex, and you just need to move two, two squares to attack his deck leader, 
um, might be worth it. Also, like, you know, yeah, the graveyard and the hand of invitation, that card's actually pretty good, would be pretty good in our deck. Because, um, like, let's say you have Aki Hiron, right? Which is normally, normally gets a, you know, a bad decrease, you know, on Wasteland. But if you change it to, you know, you power it up with all the usual water stuff and then change it to a zombie, you know, then it's really, really good on, like, Rex's Field. Basically, you're turning your disadvantage into an advantage, you know, when you need to, you know. So, something to consider, something to consider if you're running a uh, flood deck like I am. So, yeah. Anyway. You win, Yaksa. All right. Okay. No uh, rankings up, but that's okay. We can try to win some good cards here. Uh, how many Violet Crystal do I have? I don't even remember, but uh, oh, we'll try for Violet Crystal, I think. Oh, we missed about one. That's okay. Uh, well, there's two lined up here. So. Oh, Shadow Ghoul is good on the Labyrinth, uh, actually, so that's actually a good card. Okay, where's my other crystal? There it is, there it is. Got it! Nice, nice, nice. Good cards, good cards. Okay. Alright. Alright, guys, well, I think that'll be it for this one, like I said, and then um, we're free to reincarnate at the start of next episode, so... Uh, but yeah, just to show you those cards we got, uh, particularly Shadow Girl is the one I want to show. Uh, yeah, I may actually add this to one of my other decks, but it's pretty good, actually. Uh, so yeah, check this out. <clears throat> Shadow Gold. Yeah, can move into Labyrinth terrain and transform into Wall Shadow. So, yeah, yeah, most cards can't actually enter the Labyrinth terrain, um, you know, but this card can, which is actually pretty good. Um, and then Wall Shadow has 3k defense, you know, much like it does in the real game. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Also, we got our third uh, Violet Crystal, so pretty good. Um, yeah, and also this card can power up, uh, like, Maiden of the Aqua, or really any female card you have. Yeah, see Malevolent Nuzzler there. Third card uh, down, so yeah, uh, pretty good uh, video overall. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I'm gonna just stay here on the deck edit screen, added my deck between episodes. But yeah, appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all the next time. All right, have a good day. And you know, I'll just keep you guys, you know, while I'm editing. And if the video runs out, runs out. No problem. No problem. Uh, so let's go to my second deck here. Which one has the zombies? Yeah, this one? Yeah, okay. So let's go by... This is the way I usually do it. Go by deck cost. Okay, and lately I've been getting some of the insect stuff out of here, so... Matter of fact, let's get out one of this, one of this. Let's put in the good old Violet Crystal. Shadow Wool, heck yeah. Uh, I may just throw this in for fusions, honestly. Um, let's see. So what else is in here that I don't really need? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm moving away from, like, the forest stuff, so, yeah, this, this guy, he might be leaving the deck, buddy. Um, oh, wait, do, do I have a, like, Neckle Gal Fusion stuff in here? I think I do, actually. Uh, how many female cards I got in here? Like, one, uh, uh I think this is too high for Neckle Gal. Um, two female cards. Just two? Wow. Um, I might throw this in anyway, honestly. You never know. Um, do I have any plants in here? I think I do. Yeah, yeah, because this can fuse with this to make Rosie, actually. Which is pretty funny. Um, so, I may take out, yeah, a main eater bug for this. Sure, why not? Why not? There you go. And, uh, Shadow Spectre, yeah. Probably want that in as well. Just because it can fuse with, like, Dragon Zombie and stuff. Yeah, so... Yeah, we've been relying on Man Eater Bug a little too long. Maybe I'll take that out. Yeah, let's just take it out right now. There we go. Spectre in. And... Anything else? Oh, yeah, we did get a regular scale gun. That's pretty high deck cost, though. Not necessary. Um, I could throw in some Warriors here as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, because zombies can actually fuse with warriors to form a zombie warrior. <laughs> so, let's see what's in here. 
Should take out a dismissal for that. Honestly, doesn't seem too bad. Uh, hmm. Let's... Oh, I have some beans in here, too. Wow, I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, and this deck seems like it's using the Wasteland support, so Rosie doesn't really make too much sense in here anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind, like, fusing into it, but, like, you know, having it as a hard card in my deck doesn't really make sense, since I don't have too many power-ups for it. And honestly, that looks pretty good. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we still record? Oh, we are. Okay, well, yeah. appreciate you guys joining me for the deck editing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just going to do a little save here, and uh, we will reincarnate, as I've said. Okay. Shootaloo, guys. Until next time.